What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel today. Thanks for stopping by. I'm really excited to finally be able to get this beast review out on the channel. It is something that I had kind of been pushing to the side a little bit. I had a lot of people ask me to do a review on him. And because I missed out on the uh, Rogue Arena, this is the first go around at least, I uh, figured I would go ahead and take the time and uh, put that over into Beast and check him out. So per usual, I'm going to fast forward the rank up, enjoy the music, get the new artist that I found. Uh, link will be down in the description. All right, let's get into it. So just on the surface level, I had always looked at Beast and thought he was just way overly complicated and confusing. It almost felt like a band was trying to make him uh, different just for the fact that they wanted somebody different, but it, it just never really came together for me. I always kind of pictured him and lumped him in with like Kamala Khan or Gambit just as being unique for, for unique's sake. Uh, but the more that I dug into Beast, I really found that his his play style and what made him different really it was part of the normal gameplay and it not only made him fun to play with but it really sets him apart it gives him a totally different flavor uh, gives him a little more complexity as a character and I really enjoyed playing with him so the first thing to understand is that there are two very unique and separate combat forms that Beast can use uh, you've got your acrobatic and your freestyle which they look very confusing, but just remember this. If you're uh, wanting to put out the most damage that you can, if you're going to be aggressive, if you're on the offense, you want to be in freestyle form. If you are trying to regen and control the fight and keep yourself from dying, you're going to want to be in your acrobatic form. So basically, freestyle is offense, acrobatic is defense. Um, you know, those are, those are fairly straightforward and simplistic ideas, but that... You know, through all the numbers and through all the explanations, that is basically what it breaks down to. So stick with me. we got a lot of numbers and, and stuff to run through here. But let's cover first just the passive abilities of the different combat forms before we get into his awakened ability chain combo. So the freestyle form is very simple to understand. Every critical hit that you do, there's a 60% chance that that critical hit is going to cause a bleed which I found that when I was in the freestyle form, there was really almost no downtime on the bleed. Uh, the 60% chance doesn't sound like a lot, but it is quite a bit, especially if you're running a crit damage team. So that, that form, the freestyle, is very simplistic. That's very easy to understand. Just do damage. <laughs> That's really all it comes down to. On the opposite side of that, for the acrobatic form, the defensive form, every critical hit that you receive there is an 85% chance that it is going to reduce that critical damage by 85%. Which I know that can be a little confusing because it's the same percentage, but let me say that again. There's an 85% chance that every critical hit you receive will have its damage reduced by 85%. And then in addition to that, and this is the part that I didn't understand and I don't think a lot of people realize, is that when you're in the acrobatic form, the enemy gains 55% less power when you're attacking them. So let's say that it normally takes, you know, 10 hits to push an enemy, um, you know, into an S1. Well, with this, when you're in the acrobatic form, you basically can double that. You know, now it's going to take about 20 hits to push them, you know, into one bar of power. Which, when you're trying to control a fight, that is a huge difference. You almost never have to worry about hitting the enemy and pushing them into, you know, like an S2 or an S3 because there's such a reduced amount of power that you're giving to them. So regardless of the chain combo, whether you're awakened or not, those are the abilities uh, and those are the reasons why one is very offensive based and the other is very, uh, very defensive and controlling based. So his awakened ability chain combo I think is where people really get confused and I can totally understand why. Just stick with me here, I'll try to explain it and then it's a lot easier if you can actually see the gameplay to understand it. So let's just look at the freestyle form, the combos for when you're trying to be offensive. So in addition to all of the bleed effects that you're already doing, the chain combo is when you do a medium attack followed by three light attacks and finish it off with a medium. So that is just your regular five hit combo. And when you do those five hits in succession in that order, for the next five seconds after that, you're gonna have an increase to your critical rate. 
and you cannot do another chain combo until those five seconds have expired. So basically the fight starts, I parry, I do a medium, light, 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 medium. For every one of those hits in the combo, I am doing the uh, direct damage, which you can see from my, my signature level is 185. That is in addition to any bleed effects that are caused. So regardless of if I get a bleed or not, if I do a medium, light, 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 medium attack for each one of those hits, I'm going to be doing an additional direct damage. And if I successfully do that combo of five hits in that order, for the next five seconds, I have an increase to my critical rate. And then that, that buff falls off, and then I can do the medium, light, 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 medium over and over and over again. Now, for some reason, if you do not do that the, the hit combo in that order, let's say you do a medium, light, and another medium, it is going to show that you failed. And there's still going to be a five second cool off period there before you can do the next combo, but you're not going to have any increased critical buff. I, I hope that makes sense. It can be a little confusing. Basically, whether you successfully complete the combo or not, there's a five second cool off. And if you are successful, you have the critical buff. If you're not successful, you just have to wait for that five seconds to expire and you can try again. So his freestyle combat form really pumps out a lot of damage. Um, you've got the bleed effects that are stacking on top of the direct damage that you're doing. And the beauty of this is if you do the combo correctly, you get the increase to your critical rate, which just means you're going to be doing more bleed effects. So he can put out a lot of damage. Um, basically in this form with this combo, like I said at the beginning, you're always wanting to be spamming your S1 uh, to keep yourself in freestyle. That's got a 55% chance to stun the opponent, so you can really, really pour on the damage. Okay, so now let's look at acrobatic form, the chain combo. And this one, I think, is, is what confuses people more than anything. So I just want to read it. Blocking an attack followed by a medium, light, light, medium combo regenerates, and you can see the number there, which again, that is affected and is boosted up by your signature level. So this is the one that is really confusing because Again, it is it is five steps that you need to take in order to get a regeneration. But the first step is either a block, and parry is also considered a block. So let's just hypothetically say we start a fight out. I'm below 50% health. I'm in acrobatic form. So the fight starts off, and I stun. What you're going to see is you're going to see a number one, because that's the first part of the combo. And then for this combo, I don't want to do five hits. It is only going to be successful if I do four. So I'm going to do a medium, light, light, medium. And for each one of those hits, I'm going to receive health, regeneration back to myself. And then if that was successful, so I block, that's the first part, medium, light, light, medium. It's going to say successful. And what it's going to do for the next five seconds, instead of giving me a critical buff like the freestyle form does, this is actually going to reduce the enemy power gains further by 50%. And that is whether you are attacking them or they are attacking you. Their power gain is going to be just immensely reduced on top of the 55% that you're already getting from being in the uh, acrobatic form. So again, let's say you start the fight off, you parry, you do a medium, light, 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 medium to do five hits. Only the first three hits of that, so your medium and your light light, you're going to get regen from that. But if you do that third light hit, it's going to be unsuccessful. You're not going to get the further regen from that last hit. And then you're not going to get the reduced power gain for five seconds. You're still going to have a five second cool off, but you're not getting any beneficial effects from it. In addition to all that information I gave to you, he has also got a really strong uh, stun on his S1 and his S2. His S3 does increased damage based upon your hit meter, which or your hit combo, I should say, which I think is capped at 150%. I don't know what actual hit combo that um, that correlates into. I wish Kabam would just tell us that. But even within his specials, you can see he's even got more utility there and more kind of unique abilities. He also has the ability to decrease bleed effects by 65% which is just, I don't know. I, I was expecting Beast to be kind of like a poor man's X-23 or poor man's Wolverine. And he is that to a degree, but he is like this own character in and of himself that really there's nothing else like him. And I had so much fun playing with him. 
I think ultimately I thought that I was going to say at the end of all this, you know, he's, he's a fun character to play with. I would recommend him only in questing and special questing. But to be totally honest with you, you know, if you don't have an X-23 or you don't want to rank down your Wolverine, I, you know, I think he's a really good character to take up and to use in Alliance Questing and to use in Alliance Wars. You know, his ability to extend fights with his little bit of regen, his ability to totally control the amount of power the enemy is getting, I think more than makes up for the lack of regen that he gets when compared to a Wolverine or an X-23. His bleed, I think I was surprised with more than anything. Uh, the amount of time that you do have a bleed up and the actual amount of damage that he does when you have a chain combo for freestyle that you throw in on top of that, he just puts out massive, massive amounts of damage. And I, I was really, really thrilled and had so much fun playing with this character. I think at the end of the day, you know, if you are going to use him in Alliance Questing and Alliance Wars, he has really strong synergies. Uh, he's got synergies with Superior Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, Daredevil, all really good characters to take into Alliance Wars and Alliance Questing. But I think more importantly is you have to have him awakened if you're going to rank him up. He is one of the characters that is okay, but he is not nearly as good as he could be. He does not see his full potential at all until he gets ranked up, or excuse me, until he gets awakened. And I think he's one of those characters that you can just keep throwing signature stones into. The more uh, sig levels you get on him, the better and better he is going to get. Uh, he's going to do more direct damage. He's going to get more health back. Um, you know, if you are really kind of uh, tossing around which character you want to rank up before you get done with all these rank down tickets, you know, I think X23 for me is probably still at the top of kind of the regen bleed characters in the mutant class. But I think right underneath of that, I've had Wolverine and Rogue, and I can throw Beast comfortably into that group as well. So I think obviously he needs to be awakened, but to be honest, you know, Whichever character you have at a higher rank, uh, as far as signature ability, whichever character you're more comfortable playing with, whichever character you enjoy playing with more, because ultimately it is a game, I, I, I think that you could comfortably take up Beast over top of either one of those characters, and I don't think that's a bad decision at all. Once you have figured out how to do his chain combo in each form, combat form, uh, he really is straightforward. You know, just spam your S1 if you're doing damage. Spam your S2 if you're trying to control the fight and get your regen back, and it, it really is that simplistic. I think if you've got your beast down at, you know, I don't know, rank 2, rank 3, you know, maybe take the time to take him up to 440 or take him up to 550, and I think you might be surprised at how fun he was to play and really how much utility that he has that I, I really had no idea was there. In the end, all I really try to do with these videos is maybe kind of shine a spotlight on some characters that don't get a lot of love or characters that may be a little bit understood. And that doesn't always mean that they're going to turn out to be great characters. In this case, I think he is a very strong character and I would highly recommend that you at least test him out for yourself. As always, I do love to hear from you guys down in the comments section. If you have opinions, if you have comments, questions, I would encourage all of it. I by no means am trying to sell myself as an expert, but if you have questions, I will do my best uh, to give you kind of my honest opinion, my honest advice, you know, kind of through my eyes how I see the game. So uh, leave them down below. You can also follow me over on Twitter. The link will be in the description there as well. All right, guys, thank you for all the support. It means a lot. Until the next video, have a great day.